Greetings, and we are delighted to be able to come to you today as we begin a brand new week, and we're going to spend some time in the Word of God over the next two weeks to focus on this subject, Jesus teaching on faith. You now, it's very interesting as we look at the, la- the ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ that's recorded for us in the Gospels. And we examine various aspects of his ministry. You know, what did he do? Uh, what did he teach? Uh, what were some of the things that he laid emphasis on? That's very interesting to actually uh, look at the Gospels and examine the life, the ministry and the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ. And one of the things that will be very evident as we uh, look at the four Gospels is Jesus teaching on the subject of faith. We see him emphasize or mention or talk about faith uh, over and over again in in various situations as he ministered to people. uh, The subject of faith comes up in various contexts. And uh, what we want to do over the next two weeks, starting today, is uh, put, put put, put down or outline in a very simple way Jesus teaching on faith. And uh, uh, it is obvious that we will not be able to cover everything that he ever taught on the subject of faith uh, in these short devotionals for two weeks. But we're going to highlight some things and outline some of the key things that Jesus taught on faith, which you and I can embrace as we continue in our journey of the Christian faith. What, What are some of the things that Jesus taught concerning faith? Number one. Jesus taught that all things are possible through faith. When we examine some of the statements that Jesus made on the subject of faith, this comes through very clearly that Jesus taught that all things are possible through faith. Or we could even put it like this, that nothing is impossible to the one who has faith in God. Look at one or two scripture references in Matthew 17 and verse 20. Jesus said to them, You know, because of your unbelief, for surely I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. In Mark, Mark records it like this in Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Jesus said to him, If you can believe, All things are possible to him who believes. Notice in in both these scripture texts, one place Matthew records Jesus saying, nothing will be impossible for you. If you have faith, nothing will be impossible. Mark puts it like this. If you believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Now, of course, the context The immediate context is this. A person, a a man who had a boy who was troubled with demonic powers who wanted to see his son delivered from that demonic oppression. That's the immediate context. The context of Jesus' statement is anything in the natural. He said he he used the the figure of a mountain, a mountain uh, standing in your way. You tell the mountain to move, it will move. Meaning something in the natural that seems insurmountable Something the natural that seems huge, big, overwhelming, impossible. He says, if you have faith, obviously it's faith in God. If you have faith, he said, nothing will be impossible. Or Mark says, all things are possible if you have faith in God. So Jesus taught us this. And I want you to think about it throughout this day. And as we journey uh, over the next two weeks, learning about faith, Jesus said, All things are possible, whether it's deliverance from some demonic oppression, whether it's some change in our natural circumstances like mountains moving out of the way. Anything is possible in our world if we have faith in God. Your healing is a possibility. A turnaround of your financial situation is a possibility. A turnaround in your professional life is a possibility. All things are possible to those who believe. Let's pray. 
Father, as we embark on this journey of uh, learning about Jesus' teaching on faith, may our faith be strengthened, may our understanding of faith be clarified, and may we learn to truly walk in Bible faith, because we are called to live by faith. Help us, O oh God, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.